Welcome to a new planetary and seismic update. Before I start off, I would like to make something clear. Uh, in my interview yesterday with India Today, it became clear to me that screenshots are taken from my videos and they get their own interpretation in social media with uh, the result that people start to panic and there is anxiety, especially uh, in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Um, I would like to make clear again here that the purple bands, these, um, they mark atmospheric fluctuations, they do not indicate a rupture zone. And there is not 100% certainty that there will be a seismic increase in the regions marked by that purple band. So don't take the screenshots and start your own interpretation, please. It will only lead or add to anxiety and panic, and that is absolutely not necessary. If you really want to get the actual information, the correct information, watch our videos, go to our website with the latest forecast and magnitude probability. Don't start wild stories. Now, with that out of the way, we look at the seismic activity that we had in the last couple of days. The typical threshold of magnitude 5.6 and larger. We had a magnitude 5.9 in Indonesia and that actually occurred um, pretty much where we indicated the atmospheric fluctuation that occurred on the 7th and if we count 5-6 days that is pretty much a perfect match. It was borderline 6, the current estimate is um, moment magnitude 5.9. So following the high lunar peak that we had on the 10th um, this is a borderline 6, this is uh, pretty much the normal response to a lunar peak like this. It could have been larger, uh, it could have been uh, a bit higher, 6.4 to 6.7 occasionally. This happens often when the Moon has a conjunction with one of the gas giants, especially Jupiter or Saturn. And there is still a possibility today that there will be some seismic increase. Um, I really think that it will not exceed magnitude 6, so uh, most likely around uh, mid 6 magnitude, possibly lower. Uh, I don't really think that there will be major seismic activity in the next two days. So what are we going to have in the coming days? We're going to have critical planetary geometry, especially from the 14th to the 16th. As you can see on the SGI graph, we see a convergence of critical planetary geometry from 14 to 16 February. And that is going to be critical. There is a high probability of a magnitude 7, a major seismic event, approximately from the 16th to the 18th. And I would like to emphasize the 16th and 17th in particular for the possibility of a major seismic event or at least a considerable seismic increase. It could be a cluster of strong seismic activity, uh, so strong seismic events. It could also be a single major seismic event. So let's have a look at the planetary geometry in detail. We have Mercury, Venus and Uranus, that is marked here, Mercury, uh, Venus and Uranus, this is the red line, and that happens on the 14th. It is followed by a lunar conjunction, and mind you, the Mercury, Venus, Uranus conjunction is pretty critical, and it has the potential to trigger a major seismic event. Then it is followed several hours later, there's pretty much a convergence, and this is marked by the green line, that the Moon has a conjunction here with Mars. There's also a con critical conjunction, especially when it converges with critical planetary geometry, like the conjunctions that we have from the 14th to the 16th. Then on the 15th, uh, Earth, Venus and Neptune will be in a conjunction. This is also a critical conjunction with the potential to trigger a major seismic event. This is based on our research and historical earthquakes and the positions of the planets around the time of these earthquakes. So we have Earth, Venus and Neptune in a conjunction. And that is, will be on the 15th, uh, less than 24 hours after the Mercury-Venus-Uranus conjunction. This is pretty much a critical conjunction. Uh, sorry, convergence. And then finally on the 16th, Earth will be in a conjunction with the Sun and Saturn. This is the red line down here. And um, that comes after the convergence of, uh, or let's say on top of the convergence of critical planetary geometry. The Earth-Sun-Saturn conjunction itself is not really critical, but it is preceded by a pretty critical planetary and lunar geometry. Again, there is a high probability of a major seismic event around magnitude 7. Low magnitude 7 could be up to 7.2, 7.3, most likely uh, 16, 17 February, maybe the 18th if it arrives late. 
It could also go higher, like mid uh, to high 7 in a worst case scenario. If we look at the atmospheric fluctuations that we picked up in the last couple of days, this is very interesting because we have uh, multiple indications of the same regions. Uh, on the 9th we had a fluctuation marking Central America, it could be Mexico, uh, Honduras, and um, Central America in general, uh, it could be a little bit off, so uh, it could be a bit to the north, it could also be a bit to the south, uh, possibly even uh, Ecuador, uh, South America, but most li the main indicator seems to be around Central America. And on the same day we also picked up another fluctuation marking Afghanistan, Pakistan region, as you can see here uh, on the map. Um, again, it could be a bit off, it is a rough estimate, so it could include Iran and maybe even uh, China, Western China, possibly. Uh, these fluctuations are from the 9th and if we add 6 days approximately, we would end up around the 15th or 16th. But that's not all, we have another fluctuation, uh, again marking, that was a day later on the 10th, again marking uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan. It doesn't mean that there is going to be a major earthquake there, but there certainly is the potential. It could also be just an indicator of some increased seismic activity. But if we count uh, six days from the 10th, from this fluctuation, we end up around the 16th. And that is significant because of the planetary configuration that we have, marking 16 to 18 February as critical. We could have a considerable seismic event there, and these fluctuations could indicate uh, potential regions, and we have Afghanistan and Pakistan pretty much in the crosshairs because we picked up two fluctuations again marking that region. Then on the 11th an interesting fluctuation marking uh, central Mediterranean around Italy uh, it, but it could also indicate uh, Greece um, and that was picked up on the 11th, that was yesterday and if we add six days we would end up around the 17th. So again because of the critical planetary configuration that we have from the 14th to the 16th, these atmospheric fluctuations could indicate potential regions for a major seismic event. And then again, on the 11th yesterday, we picked up another fluctuation marking Central America uh, near Honduras. Um, and again, we could be a bit off, it could be a bit to the west, it could be a bit to the east. It is also possible that it will be further south towards Ecuador, South America. Again, these are rough estimates, that's all that we can do, but as you can see we have multiple atmospheric fluctuations marking similar regions and um, there is emphasis on 16, 17 February, maybe 18 February, and um, there is emphasis on the regions marked by these atmospheric fluctuations. Now, these fluctuations are not 100%, so if you are in an earthquake prone region, be on extra alert from the 16th to the 18th have an earthquake plan, you always need to have an earthquake plan if you are in an earthquake prone region that really is important and can be really life saving and on top of that we have these fluctuations where there could be major seismic activity from the 16th to the 18th. This is the information that we have so far, be safe, until next time.